Hey everyone and welcome to this video covering resource bookings in Dynamics 365 Project Service Automation. So now that we've created our project contract and we have our project all set up, what we need to do next is to actually book resources against the tasks that we have on our project. So let's jump in the system and see how this actually works. So what we're covering here on this video is is the work breakdown structure and, and as it relates to booking resources, uh, as well as resource requirements, project team members, and then briefly the schedule board and how it's used to actually book bookable resources on, on our project tasks. So first thing here on the work breakdown structure, we can see that we have a task set up we're going to focus on this task 1.1 called start. And what we're doing first is we're checking the task mode. So right now the task mode has been set to automatically scheduled and Dynamics 365 Project Service Automation has two task modes. It has an automatically scheduled task mode as well as a manually scheduled task mode. Now the difference between those two is, is with how the, the effort is distributed for the tasks. And what I mean by that is when we have an automatically scheduled task, if we look at by navigating from related records to project estimates, I actually have that here in a tab, open in a tab. If we look at this specific task that's automatically scheduled, we can see that the, the effort is front loaded. We have eight hours on the 19th, eight hours on the 20th, and two hours on the 21st. And if we change the task mode to manually scheduled and we change the effort, and let's save the work breakdown structure. So if we change the task mode and we change the effort and we come back to project estimates, we can see that the task is now the work for this task is now evenly distributed across all these three dates. So now based on this, what we'll do next is we'll create, we'll generate a project team. And when I click on generate project team, I will get generic resources for this specific project. And as you can see, generic resource of project manager has been filled to this specific task. Now, if we look at resource requirements, we can see that those have been formed when we generated a project team. So for those three tasks that are on the work breakdown structure, we now have matching resource requirements. We can just you know, briefly check what we have here on this record when we open it up. As, we, as you can see, we have you know, the front dates, two dates, the duration, uh, the necessary information for roles, preferred organizational units, etc., on the resource requirement. And now jumping over to project team members, we can see that when we clicked on generate project team, we now got generic resources as project team members. Now, these aren't actual people. These are just generic resources that represent represent what has to be, kind of has to be booked for this task. So we're actually next booking users or bookable resources for these tasks to replace the generic ones. But before we do that, what we can use is function functionality called specify pattern to change the contour of resource requirement if we so desire. So now that we set this specific task start as evenly distributed, we can see that the contour is 5.67 hours per day. And if we want to change that contour, we can use specify pattern which opens up a schedule board looking pop-up. We can see the task duration uh, per day right here. So we can click on the day that we want to change. Let's actually click, um, let's choose Monday the 
Monday the 19th, and let's make this task at even five hours. Now, as you can see, when I change the duration, the end time doesn't automatically change. And what you want to make sure, and you actually want to make sure that the, the, the time window is if you want to book this whole, uh, this whole task and this whole day for one single bookable resource, you might want to make sure that the, the time window equals the duration. Now, it can be greater, but for the sake of example, let's make that an exact match with the duration. All right. So now we can see that the duration's changed a bit. Let's click on save. We can actually ignore the data mismatch error at this point. And we'll get a notification saying that requirement details have been updated. So let's close out of this. And now next, what we can do is actually book a, a generic, um, a, a bookable resource or a user against this task to replace this generic resource. So what we'll do is we'll uh, select the record and we'll click on book. And a pop-up of the schedule board opens up. And as we're booking from the context of, of the resource requirement by using the project team member view, the schedule board that opens up is already looking at the specific criteria that the resource requirement has. So let's change the view to today's view. And as we do that, we can see the bookable, the bookable resources that match our resource requirements. So now what we'll do next is I'll select myself and I'll select all the three dates. And as a booking status, I'll choose hard. I can also choose, you know, soft booked if I want to soft book myself for this task. And I'll, as a booking method, I'll choose a remaining requirement. I, call, I could also do full requirement if I wanted to, but we'll, we'll leave this at remaining requirement. And as everything seems to be in order, I'll click on book. And let's give it just a second. We'll get a notification that 16.4 hours out of 16.4 hours has successful has successfully booked. So now we can close out of the schedule board. And as we come back to the project team member view, we can see that the bookable resource has changed from generic to myself. I have booked hours and I have assigned hours as well. And if I double click here on this record, I can actually see my billing type as well as if I'm a project approver or not. Now what project approver means, if you've, if you've read my blog post on missing time entries, a project approver is a person that approves all time and expense entries for this project. And you can have multiple project approvers if that's necessary. So make sure that, that if you, you know, edit the project team members and, and generate project teams, et cetera, make sure you have at least one project approver who can approve time and ex expense entries for your project. Now, in addition to booking bookable resources and re replacing generic resources with, with bookable resources using the project team members and, and book button, we can also just add new team members by clicking on new. This is more of a manual task as opposed to using the schedule board. When we use the the new button and, and add a project team member like this, we actually have to manually add that project team member on the, on the work breakdown structure as well. So now that we've I actually have to reload the form, it's not open the quick create correctly, which 
sometimes unfortunately happens. Uh, so now that, that I use the, the schedule board to do, do the booking, if I look at my work breakdown structure, I can see that the resources box has automatically been filled with my name. Now if I use, if I manually add a project team member, here we go, now it's working. If I manually add a project team member, let's let's choose Anna for the sake of example. Oh, let's put 10 hours. Oh, here we go. Now, if I manually add a project team member, you can see that 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 specific bookable resource or bookable resource booking has 10 booked hours. But if we come back to the work breakdown structure, that bookable resource booking is not on any task. So we actually have to come here and, and, and manually add that specific booking on our task. And as you can see, the, the from and to date for this booking is actually from the 19th to the 20th. And the requirement for the consultant for that task is from the 26th to the 29th. So now that I was you know, trying to add this, add her on this task, it's not showing, you know, it's not, it's not giving me that option. So in essence, you have to be wary of your start and end dates for your tasks, and then also of your resource requirements. So if you have a resource requirement, you kind of have to align that with, with, your, with your actual tasks on your work breakdown structure. And the same goes for using the schedule board. If I drag and drop the booking that I, have just created, if I drag and drop this to, let's say, you know, I move this forward by a week, the work breakdown structures task won't automatically update. So, so what I'd actually have to do is I'd, I'd, I'd first update the task and then I'd update the booking. So you have to keep in mind that the, the tasks on the work breakdown structure and the resource requirements and then your bookings all kind of have to be aligned for everything to work correctly. All right, but in short, that was booking resources in Dynamics 365 Project Service Automation. If you have any questions, you know, please ask on my blog, and I'll be sure to I'll be sure to comment on your questions. And thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy this brief video, and have a good one.